Hi, this is Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University Channel Islands with another quick tip on how to manage conflict. The topic today is the golden ticket to collaboration when conflict arises. Spoiler alert, the golden ticket is managing defensive reactions. Being able to collaborate doesn't also mean that it's going to result in an agreement, a little disclaimer, or that there's going to be a happy ending necessarily. It's only getting past that wall that tends to come up when the defensiveness reaction kicks in. So let me start with a story. So our family has a tradition at night. We gather together and say a little prayer together. We hold hands and say, I love you, and try to say it in a different language than English, which is our primary language at home. And I had recently learned how to say, I think, I love you in Chumash, the language of the indigenous people of the land we occupy. My wife, who considers herself Hispanic, said, let's do Spanish for Hispanic Heritage Month. It turned into an argument about whether indigenous languages could count for being Hispanic. Now, I started doing something. I started cross-examining. Yes, that's my re common reaction when I feel defensive. Years of legal training it was not effective and got some pretty deeper negative reactions and certainly didn't move anything forward for, for either one of us. So what do you do instead? If you are wanting to manage your defensive reactions, you have to first understand what it is that causes you to have that defensiveness reaction. Often tied to the deeper issues of your identity. In my case, thinking of myself as somebody who was curious and knowledgeable about the world and about cultural issues and uh, competent in dealing with that. Those kind of deeper identity and competence issues or your ability to contribute to an organization can be sources that lead to defensiveness. So you know what those deeper issues are for you in various situations. You next figure out what your reaction is. In my case, it was cross-examining to ostensibly understand better. It may be catastrophizing. It may be withdrawing in silence. It may be shouting. Knowing what behaviors are common when you feel, and being aware when you feel defensive, allows you to take this next step, which is to deploy a simple strategy to unwind that. That's not easy to create. You don't want to create that in the moment. It's something you want to thought about in advance. When I start to cross-examine, I'm going to say, it's not about you, Mark. I'd say that to myself. That may not necessarily cause a reaction change in the person you're in conflict with. Be ready for that. But it can change your approach. It can cause you to take a step back keep the defensiveness in check, and perhaps move forward in a productive way. Ideally, if you can practice it, even better. That's your quick conflict tip. This has been Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University, Channel Islands.